Steve Harvey once said, and I quote, another person's opinion of us is none of our business. Folks, it is so important. We, especially as Christians, understand this. I'm going to repeat it. Another person's opinion of us is none of our business. Good morning, folks. I'm Troy Wilson. Welcome to our 10 minutes of weekly worship. Please remember to leave your prayer requests in comments below or private message them to us. They will be prayed for by many of our faithful supporters. Do you know Jesus Christ himself took the same stance as the quote I just gave by Steve Harvey? Let's take a look at it in John chapter 18. Here we find Jesus standing before Pilate to be judged for an accusation made by the Jews. The indictment of Jesus was that he had presented himself as king of the Jews, although he had never attempted to be ruler over anyone. Now let's look at the actual opinion in verse 33 and 34. Then Pilate entered unto the judgment hall again, and called Jesus, and said unto him, Art thou king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, Sayest thou this thing thyself, or did others tell it thee of me? In other words, is this your opinion of me, Judge Pilate, or is this the opinion of others? Pilate's response was that of a wise, wise judge. We can find it in verse 35. Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? In other words, Pilate said it was not his opinion or his accusation which had brought Jesus before him, rather the accusations of Jesus' own people. With that understanding, Jesus gave this answer in verse 37. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witnesses unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Neighbor, the opinions of others concerning us are not those usually which are uplifting. And where we find that special person giving, uplifting, and encouraging opinions of others, we will find a very, very unique human being. As a matter of fact, if you have any friends like this in your circle, hang on to them. They are to be treasured more than gold itself. Looking back at verse 37 as to the opinion of others, Jesus Christ gives a clear and truthful picture of exactly who he is. In short, he tells Pilate he was born to bring the light of truth into a dark world, and to his end on that day he would pay the debt for man's sin and be crucified on a cross. My friend, from the day Jesus Christ was born into this world, he was a man on a mission. He never once let the opinions of others alter his God-assigned purpose. Every person, listen to me, every person within the sound of my voice was given a mission by God. It is up to you whether you fulfill that mission or let it be taken from you through the opinions of others. Please permit me to tell this short story, then I'm going to close. Leon Lott is the sheriff of the neighboring county of which I live. We sort of both entered law enforcement about the same time. Sheriff Lott first made his mark as a narcotics investigator, which brought him much popularity. However, through a disagreement, Leon Lott lost his job as chief narcotics agent, ending his employment with that particular sheriff's office. He applied for employment with other departments, including the one where I was chief deputy at the time. Folks, I was thrilled at the idea we may get a narcotics agent with the experience of Leon Lott. But to my disappointment, the sheriff that I was working for at the time told me I could not hire Leon Lott because he had received a call from the solicitor's office saying if we hired Leon Lott, his office would not prosecute another drug case in our county. Obviously, there was some underlying friction between 
Leon Lott and the current solicitor. I don't know what it was and don't want to know. Leon Lott did, however, find employment as a police chief in a very small town. Then, when election time came for sheriff in the county he had previously worked, Leon Lott announced himself as a candidate for the job, running on the Democrat ticket. With no shortage of obstacles in his way, the former solicitor, the same one which had blackballed me from hiring Leon Lott, was now the chairman of the local Democrat party. One might ask, did he give Leon Lott his support, seeing he was now a candidate on his own party's ticket? Nope, just the opposite. He even went on TV news saying he did not think Leon Lott would be a good candidate for sheriff. Once he had made this statement publicly, others began saying Leon Lott doesn't stand a chance. Number one, he was running against an incumbent sheriff, one with a reasonably clean record and had years with the department. Two, he had the chairman of his own party speaking out against him. Of course, the media always piles on a candidate who is down or who they want to be down. So coupled with everything else, here comes the negativity of the press. Folks, let me pause this story and say this. When God gives us a mission and we obey his calling, not the press or anybody's opinion can stop us. Amen? Say amen. Just when things looked hopeless for Leon Lott, here comes unexpected support. The former sheriff, a man, although retired, still carried a lot of political clout in that county, the same man who was the protege of the current sheriff, this retired sheriff had some sort of disagreement with his chosen heir to his throne. Once this former sheriff switched sides and became a part of the Leon Lock team, thousands followed. Folks, on January 5th of this year, Leon Lott was sworn in for a seventh term as Richland County Sheriff. Let me add this. The Bible Sheriff Lott swore in on was a gift from his dad in 1968. My friend, opinions of others can only affect what we let it affect. What opinions can't do is stop what God has destined for us to become. Only we can do that. Let us pray. Father, I want to thank you for this message. Your message sent by way of the Holy Spirit. No one needed to hear this from you, dear God, on this day more than I did. Father, no matter how hopeless it may seem, may we always remember to follow the path you, Father, have set before us, to put our trust in you and your unfailing guidance. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen.